previous play. There's one away, and the pinch hitter Woods not in there. But uh, Barrios keeps on throwing. <laughs> Was a guy eager to stay warm. They picked Woods up from Minnesota in the expansion draft in the second round. He bats left. Hit 284 with Tacoma in the Coast League last year. So Woods pinch hitting for Steve Bowling. It was 0 for 2. That is high for a ball. The first pitch thrown to him by Barrios after he whipped about four warm-up pitches to the catcher while Woods was in the on-deck circle. He has a good breaking ball by Barrios. Uh, he just wants to get that base hit now and get that. It's a big difference to have a one and two run lead in a game and uh, a two run lead you can do a lot of things uh, the manager Hartfield can hit and run more steal more and that that he's been very shy about stealing today uh, been a lot of good base running this is popped up in back of the dugout the third base side out of play Otto Velez remains at second base with one out and the one and two count to the hitter, pinch hitting, Al Woods for Steve Bowling. Al Scott, I'm sorry for Steve Bowling. He pops this one up again out of play. The way those balls are getting to the outfield so quick, those base hits, uh, a runner at second base like Velez is now, he's going to have to get a good jump off of second base in order to score, especially if the ball is hit right at the outfield, uh, a base hit, because uh, it gets out there so quick, and if they have a good arm, it's going to be very tough to score from second base. Various getting ready with a one and two delivery. Part of Roy Hartsfield who sends L. Scott in to pinch hit for Steve Bowling. He hammers a two run blast, 365 feet to right center field. And the Blue Jays go on top, seven to four. Their third homer of the day by. Number 38, the second baseman, Pedro Garcia. Woods. that ball up again just above the waist and Al Scott hit that well over the right field fence. 